Just like that. All right, guys, I gotta get this vaccine real quick. Oh. But YouTube is just making it so hard. Mind you, YouTube was the first platform that did videos. You got to tell them. Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. So last week when I came back on my trip from Vegas, I took a hiatus. The Vegas vlog will be up this week on Friday. So I actually did just download a software system where you can get non-copyrighted music. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, I actually saw this on uh, Muffin's channel. She actually had it in her links. And I actually saw this on a couple of other people's channels as well too. And it's basically a platform for influencers uh, to use music that's not copyright. Y'all know recently I've been getting copyright strikes a lot, so it's been really annoying. So I decided just to pay for it. It's a $15 subscription. It's taxable, so it's part of the business. So you can add it to your taxes as a write-off. Um, so they have some pretty good sounds. I actually connected my YouTube channel to it, and they uh, actually found me. And they have recommendations for you for music. So it's really good. I'm actually editing a hair video right now. And I'm actually excited to edit the hair video with this new sounds. Um, so, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Just trying to do some things today. I did actually... Um, open up an Amazon storefront so you guys I will leave a link down below moving forward in the videos for the Amazon storefront and I also did something else as well and I also have a Pinterest as well too so I've been doing a lot of stuff I feel like I have more time on my hand now so I'm like okay I'm just gonna work on other projects and stuff like that I still have like a lot of work to do and I, I want to give you guys a little shout out or surprise I'm having a wig sale guys the wig sale will be not this week the following week I already started washing the wigs I just got to style them so that's another surprise so next week, next Friday will be my wig sale. I will announce it this Friday for you guys and start putting up some of the stuff. Oh my God, these, get away from my cup. Freaking that. Anyways, so I'm right now, I'm editing, downloading a few songs and I'm gonna actually download some new kind of like pop-ups for Final Cut Pro X. I probably spent like $80 on it because they're pretty expensive, the pop-ups. I use FX Factory and their things be like, sometimes they have sales and when they have sales, you can get what is this facing? Oh, the living room. Uh, sometimes they have sales and you can get like some pop-ups and stuff like that or like transitions for like 30 bucks. So I'm gonna check that out. But let me show you guys uh, the EpidemicSounds.com right real quick. Not sponsored. All right guys, so this is it right here. It's the EpidemicSounds.com. Like I said, not sponsored. So this is it. I already linked my YouTube channel to it to kind of get like some sounds. So they have like some really good music, guys. Not copyright. Let me see if I can play some of this for you. <laughs> I like that, like definitely for the vlogs, so the vlogs and everything will have more of an updated vibe sound, you hear that? I like that. Uh, not so much that one, but hmm. So, uh, so the content is going to be a little bit different, guys. I'm going to start doing different stuff in the content. Well, as far as editing, you guys know I edit all my videos. So I like to kind of, you know, take my time to edit stuff and learn how to do things rather than pay someone to do it. So just adding some more things into here. So I'll be upgrading the music and then I'm going to find some pop-ups on FX Factory. So, yeah. And you can use this on your Instagram as well, too. So if you're making Instagram reels and you don't want to use the copyright music or if you're doing um, shorts, you can just download this song and attach it to there so it's not copyrighted. So, because I noticed that I cannot use my shorts. Instagram and TikTok, they, the songs, you can use any song you want. But on on YouTube, they really restrict the song. So it's, it sucks that I can't drag things. But I always say, copies of stuff so that I could post it on all three platforms Instagram TikTok and short so um yeah like this whole it's a lot of work like doing this type of stuff is a lot so I'm at the dealership right now because I have to bring the car in for a service the first service but ain't nobody here to come take this car for me so am I supposed to just leave the car here and walk inside it's just like so confusing the girl's like watching me from the car <laughs> from inside but I don't give a fuck uh, yeah, so I'm about to go inside. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, but whatever. Let me just go figure this out. All right, guys, I'm inside right now. They got the car, so I'm just waiting for Dan to come get me, hanging out. I did go ahead and post a reel up today with um, this dress that I have on right here, and this dress is like a Skims dupe from Amazon. I will do like a little mini haul. I asked my I'll just add the haul into this vlog this week, so why not? Uh, so yeah, I wanted to show it to you guys. I did post a reel about trying to put it up on shorts, but shorts keeps copywriting me, so I gotta kind of switch up the songs and stuff like that, but I made it. 
on. I'm chilling right now, waiting for Dan to come. And hope I can get something to eat. So get me to, I gotta go get my vax. I didn't tell you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta get this vaccine real quick, help me. It's gonna be quick. Nothing. Oh no, look at the door. They got some cute little, those are the sandals that I said that I saw, but people had swiped them little pink furry sandals up already. But we are, oh my God. I paid freaking nine bucks for these jeans. Just for them to have it for this price. What do you want? Acknowledge me. What is that? I don't like that. Denim? Huh? Yeah. I actually really like I was just about to say that. I like this little mini ones. I like how it's like. This brown? This little, yeah. I don't know if I'm thrilled about the Crocs. Me either. Oh, look at this. Is the same one right here? No. Ugly. Yeah. As a matter of fact, why do you just take the chain off? It's nice without the chain. I think we look at Without the chain. All you gotta do is cut this chain off. You don't need that. Yeah, but then you have to like cut this part off. And... There has to be an opener on this. Hmm. Even the white one is. This is so cute. Oh am loud. I'm sorry. Oh, there's letters. That's what I was saying. Oh, there's, there's D. K. C. You better not take L. a D if you see it. It's not gonna be D. I feel like D is like a common name. Or R. Not R A. There is any, of course. Like. They got for P for pimp. Pimping ain't easy. B for brains, little brains. So y'all know I got this bag for twelve. They got it in this color, and they also got it in black. All right, guys, so you know I was gonna pick up some earrings. These are actually really, really cute earrings right here for $4. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut me these. These are really, really pretty. They also have this colorful dangling one, which I actually, I actually like it too. And I also got these medium-sized hoops, but I don't need any more hoops. Oh, actually. Black or brown? Hmm? Which one do you like, the black or the brown one? Brown one. Oh, oh, the tan color one? Yeah. Oh, they have it in black. You saw those too? That's what I thought you were going towards. I didn't. Like, oh, the bucket I, bag? I like the bucket bag though. I didn't even see that. Oh, oh I think this looks cute. Ow. Yeah. I like that. Like, hold it. Let's see what's giving. Oh my god, I actually really like that. This is nice. Oh, this is nice. You know, I'm gonna have to get that. I didn't even I was trying to figure out what the I'm getting it. <laughs> so right. let me oh. see this uh, yeah. Alright, we so we get um, <clears throat> I was trying to figure out what this looked like, but now I know. Oh. Yeah. Yes, damn. How do you adjust it if you want it shorter? Um, I actually like it like that. I feel it looks more like, you know. Yeah. I'm getting it. You don't want black? No, black is not. I don't like, I don't that. like that. It looks better in this. You like, gotta get the earth tone colors like that. Where's the rings? I've been looking for new rings. Huh? New rings? No, I can't even keep track of them. Oh, they're on that side. Oh, look at this in. I love this. Look at this cute little butterfly choker. Look at this. 
I like these little colorful necklaces. Hmm. I've been saying any like color ones, but I don't think these are the color ones for me. Just because you see somebody else that, and this always the dudes too. I'm not your sister, dog. Like we're not related, so stop talking to me. Like they be quick to like, oh hey sister, and they try to say it in like the low tip, like hey sister. I'm not your sister. Don't fucking talk to me. I just wish they had them in like a. Alright guys, I got this little scrunchy hair thingy because I feel like this will look cute. Then what about the dad sandals? How do you, are these house slippers? I, I don't know the house slippers, I think you actually wear them. Try them. No, they're hideous. Let me see the material. Nope, I don't want those. Here goes these heels right here, then. I saw these at the other one. Yeah. Oh my God, look how lucky I got, they got size nine. Don't you just fucking look like Oh, these are cute. Yeah, these are cute, this is a cute little orange color. Let's get a bag to match it. Oh, love. Yes. Love, damn, yeah, love. Oh, twins. Oh, they a little, no, they're. Do you have a uh -uh, weird? I'm just cutting up my tongue, my toe. They're actually nice. The black ones are nice. I think we just have these blue ones. Yes, love those. Oh. Just made no sense. This one? They're both the same. But like it was a stretchy, like. No, they fit fine, but it just didn't look good. Okay, I don't. If it didn't look good on you, it's probably not gonna. That's cute. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's covering nip too, which is plus. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be gonna zoom tomorrow. I'll, I'll get this one medium because I, I got some bigger ones. I got this extra small. Oh, this is only like 10 bucks. Hey, orange? Yeah. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> Do you have like a big gauge? You think that's gonna come out right? I think so. Oh, this one might come out. I don't like the collar. I don't like that type of collar. I like the collar. I don't like that type of collar. I like a little plungy, you know, a little clee clee. I like a little clee clee showing or whatever. We going to the fitting room? The dealership still ain't coming. yet. What's up with that? Right. I'm going to get this in a size 10. I'll take this black halter top. It's nice. Like I said, my big fat ass gets mine in a small because it's stretchy or not. Yeah, of course it is. Okay. Guys, they got a whole collection of these beautiful features. Really nice. One thing about Primark, they don't give you pajama. Pajama galore, baby. You're taking the short is 10. Oh, you Nasaya? I'll just get one to start. I mean, they only have, what other color? Oh, they got this one, but I'll get two. So I got the gray diamonds. Hi, Sarida. Get the pasta. Oh, this is nice. I'm get yellow. Let me see it. Mm. You know I like this. Yeah. Mm. Where's the shorts for? Mm. I was just going to say. Say Look at how I put on I'll try by. Oh, the pink one is just ah uh ah. -uh, I don't like that. So this. <laughs> they, only to, they only used to have these two, and I, I got both of them. I ain't feeling that. So. The other ones are like real neutral. My favorite place, Rainbow Shops. Hmm. It pretty much looks like everything I saw when I was in. Uh, 
Brooklyn, baby. Really? Uh, maybe not. I don't see nothing like spectacular. What is this? These are like what? Not material straws. The store looks different. There's like this smell in here too. There's a particular funk in here. I don't know what it is. This is cute. This right here is cute. <laughs> you don't like any of these colorful dresses in here? No, it's like garbage. It's like 70s. She says garbage. She said everything here is garbage. <laughs> oh, Dan, this is cute. Dan? Why is this a TV set? I'm confused. Huh? Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. She said everything in here is sad. What? <laughs> like they could have lost a button on that one, but no, what about this? Yeah. The whole titty gonna be out on the bottom of that. You don't see nothing here. So our last stop right here is Cucina, which is a Greek restaurant. You guys have seen me in Dan Keller before. It is an empty street out here in Sanford, Connecticut, baby. I can tell you that right now. There ain't nobody out here. Wait, where the air at? What air? They have like no little fans out here? So Thank the only you. thing, yeah, uh, it's that it's with Sprite instead of lemonade, because we're out of lemonade. Okay. Um, if you don't like it, then I'll swing. That's fine. You don't know how to slide nothing over. Oh, you're filming the slide too? Thank you. That looks really good. Yeah, yeah. Mine's just too, too bad you're not gonna have any of it. What are you talking about? Thank you. No problem. Alright guys, so I'm in the car right now. I'm about to head off to Trader Joe's. Um, yeah, so that's what we're about to do. I always tell me bring the camera, but it just be so chaotic. It's actually early right now. It's 1048. So, um, I'm about to just go ahead and head in there. Uh, what else I gotta do today? I think that's basically it. I have a video that I need to, um, actually record today. So, I'm probably gonna do that later. I did get a heat rash, guys, when I was in Vegas. I wore sunscreen, so sunscreen really didn't have nothing to do with it. I have a heat rash on my face. My face is so fucking itchy right now, like. So, um, I need to get some lanolin. Lanolin. Yeah, lanolin. I believe that's what it is. Um, and just put like cool compress, they said, but don't put any like sticky moisturizer. I did moisturize, like put sunscreen on like the top of my face, but the bottom portion of my face right here is super itchy. So, <sighs> well, I thought I'd tell you. turn off. All right, guys, so we are back today with the Trader Joe's haul. I didn't show you guys the stuff inside. I actually have the stuff for a minute, guys. I was being really lazy. I need to lay down because it is so hot outside. So starting off, we got our apple cider vinegar drinks. We got our two lemonades. I ended up having to restock on the olive oil spray. Got that, along with the extra virgin olive oil. I got some tortilla chips from Trader Joe's, some tangerine juice for my smoothies. Um, as far as the frozen section, I might as well start on that one. I did go ahead and get the chicken and chimichurri empanadas. I'm not trying these before. This is my first time. So hopefully these taste really, really good. I also did get some salmon burgers. Haven't had salmon burgers in a while. I have some turkey burgers in the freezer. But I feel like the salmon burgers would just be better. So I got that. I did pick up two uh, chicken breasts and also salmon. You guys know I get the fresh salmon, the fresh chicken breasts. I do have some stuff in the freezer, so I didn't want to overload on that type of stuff. I did pick out the spicy, chunky tomato and pepper sauce. This one tastes really, really good. Um, depending on your stomach, it might have you on the toilet, but it's pretty good. Um, I got tomato paste. Y'all know tomato paste. I also got my favorite Trader Joe's aioli garlic mustard. This is bomb. Bomb. You go ahead and cut the skin off of this one and make a little sausage and peppers with this mustard, guys. Game changer. 
I also got garlic powder, I got oregano, I got two limes, three bananas, I got my pasteurized eggs, you guys already know. Um, I did get some non-crackers, but I forgot to get the everything bagel dip, but I don't even think I need it. I think I'm good with the non-crackers and getting some hummus from the grocery store. I got some basic sharp cheddar. Each slice is like 80 calories, which is pretty good. I got the white rice, if I didn't mention that already. I got my whole wheat hamburger buns for the salmon burgers. And I also got the sourdough bread um, from Trader Joe's. I like to do like avocado toast on this or just eggs on it and cheese or something like that. Or BLTs, which is my favorite with this. Um, I did go ahead and pick out something new from the frozen section. So I got the Kung Pao chicken. I, guys, I'm going to make the, um, tomorrow night I'm going to make the chicken teriyaki for you guys. Banging. Like, <laughs> so I'm going to try this out. If you guys can try this one, let me know. I also did get some uh, sliced mushrooms. You guys know I love mushrooms. Green beans. I got some vegetable fried rice. I'm not into the chicken fried rice because the chicken is, it's, it's funny looking. It tastes funny, so I just get vegetable fried rice. I did get the Argentinian red shrimp again, because you guys know I love, love, love the Argentinian red shrimp. What else did I get? I got some rice orzo pilaf mix. I love this. With a nice fresh veggies and like salmon. This fucking amazing, guys. Like, wow. I also got some green onions. I didn't know they bagged the green onions like this, and they probably will last longer like this. So I was happy. Only a dollar forty nine for all these green onions. That's a good ass deal. I also got this um, crunchy. What was it? Crunchy. What? Whatever. Crunch collection. It's kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. I wanted to do something fun with like a little bit of a protein, so I picked this one out. I also did get some asparagus. I don't really make asparagus. I'm more of a green bean type of girl, but I want to try this asparagus. Also, I got this asparagus. These are like the smaller looking ones, real nice and cute and petite. I also did get some spinach and baby spinach as well for my smoothies that I'm making and avocado. So I already ate half of the avocado, guys of one um they're actually pretty good from trader joe's they're only a dollar 99 a piece which to me is expensive but you know how trader joe's does i also did get some ice cream guys with the ice cream is in the freezer because it was way too cold and i also picked out like these little like little baby flowers nothing too crazy i'm gonna try to mix them up even though these are short i'm just gonna cut the ends of the long ones and make like a little cute arrangement but the problem is i threw all the vase out when we moved i have nothing so i'm gonna have to make something make shifty in a minute but we gonna do it. All right, guys, so it is Dom's day today, so I decided to take myself on a solo movie date today, which I'm excited about. I haven't been to the movies in a little bit of a while. I did um, go see one over the sky view. There's actually an outdoor movie theater that you can watch. Um, it's kind of like on the water side, like Greenpoint area, Manhattan area, Brooklyn area. Y'all know what I mean. But I'm going to Nighthawk. Now, Nighthawk is really, really good, guys. The movie Nope came out. So they had um, a 3 o'clock opening, so I decided to actually go. So it's 2.40 right now. I got 20 minutes. I did use the bathroom before I left so I'm good so in here they have a full menu they have a full bar so you can get whatever you want to eat I only had a chicken empanada from Trader Joe's today and that was all I had today and some water and iced coffee so I'm gonna go ahead I think I'm gonna have a meal here or maybe coffee and then probably do dinner later I was gonna take myself out to dinner later but I'm not sure yet when I sit down I kind of formulate in my head I feel like the movie's about to be really scary so I'm kind of nervous right now um, but I wanted to see the movie because I love um, Jordan Peele's um, kind of like scary little movie things or whatever so hopefully this is kind of like the um what was the other movie name y'all know what i'm talking about same character too so hopefully it's really good guys i'm really really hyped about this so i'm about to head in uh, my outfit today is pretty simple i'll show you guys my outfit well i mean it ain't even that deep it's like a top I did wear my Primark green bag as an accent. My outfit is pretty like retro-y, but adding the color. I did do a pop of blue under my eye just for fun, just because why not? So this is the look for today, guys. The makeup look, at least. Cute, natural, whatever. So I'm about to head in. Um, I'm going to leave the car at 2.45. I'm ready. My camera's charged. And yeah, so solo date with Dom.
tell you guys the saddest news. Look at this line on my screen. I have no idea when this line decided to develop on my screen, but it's been on there since yesterday. I noticed it last night. So, I mean, it is what it is. I have a warranty on the laptop. So, I mean, like, I feel like if it does anything else crazy, I have this documented that this is happening, that there's just one little, y'all see that one little line right there? Like, what the hell on my screen? So, um, if push comes to shove, I will just take the computer to Apple. I got a warranty on any goddamn way, so it don't even matter. But here is the video. It'll be up in 35 minutes for premiere. So, hope to see you guys there. My face is probably hella dry right now, but it is what it is. Uh, it's another day, guys. So today, yesterday I realized that I didn't have enough um, neutralizing shampoo. So I did go ahead and prep the wigs. I just need to rinse them out and stuff like that. And then I need to wash my makeup brushes. So I'm going to show you all that. The mannequins actually have to put lashes on them because the lashes kind of like look crazy on the mannequin heads. So I need to go and buy a new hot glue gun because I cannot find the hot glue gun that I had before, which is kind of weird. Sorry if it look kind of dry, guys. I got a heat rash on my face from Vegas. Bro, it's not for the faint of heart. Vegas? Mm -mm. Well, it was a great time, but I got a heat rash when I was in Vegas on my face. So, um, right now, it's a thing as well, like almost 9.30. I've been up since 7 o'clock, so I'm bas basically like prepping the things I need to. Um, it is August 1st, so happy August 1st, and I am starting What I Eat in a Week today. So next Wednesday, you guys will get a What I Eat in a Week video, and then the vlog will be on Friday. So I'm going back to my regular schedule um, video uploads just because I felt like for the last few months I haven't been consistent every time I move it always ruins everything before the move guys I was consistently doing the what I eat in a week videos and stuff like that but then moving and stuff like that kind of hindered I still have not showed you guys the apartment yet because there's a few things that we have to complete and then that is going to be the apartment tour my office still needs to be done I'm, I decided to order one thing from Amazon which I'll show you guys um what it looks like and I still need my chair so those things should be done in the month of August so you guys will get like an uh, apartment tour and you guys will also get like a just a personal office tour as well like and that kind of stuff so I'm working on that this month I'm trying to be consistent for the month of August moving forward August September October November December so we have five months left so I was trying to wait no August, September, October, November, De yeah, we have five months left of the year, so basically kind of like half of the year, not really, July would have made half of the year, but, um, well, would it? I guess, whatever. So we got five more months left in the year, so I feel like right now, I don't know, something just, I don't know what it is today, something just kind of like woken up in me, like, you know, let's get back on track. I am traveling, like I told you guys, I'm going to Portugal and France in two weeks, and then I'm going away in October for two weeks, um for uh asia tour so um 
it's gonna get crazy but um I want to kind of start this uh, month off with what I eat in a week. So I'm working on that today. Uh, you guys know on Tuesday, on Mondays, I don't really vlog, but I added today into last week's vlog. And that's another thing. I need to start being more consistent with posting up the vlogs. I wait too long. I don't know. There's something with me. I just, just sometimes I just don't feel like it. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Like multitasking all these platforms like Instagram, TikTok, it's just overwhelming AF. Um, I try to bring some of the videos that I do on Instagram over here to YouTube, but YouTube acts very very funny with their copy right now which i'm not into all the other platforms you can use whatever music you want to create your content but youtube is just making it so hard mind you youtube was the first platform that did videos you know what i'm saying why you guys tighten it up on the platform like this people are leaving this platform so it's, it's just frustrating um on this end but it is what it is like i'm i mean like i still enjoy putting up my videos you guys like the vlogs you guys like what i eat in a week you guys like try and haul so i'm gonna try to consistently give you guys at least those three videos every week and you guys know hair videos some of you guys like it some of you don't but i still make a huge bag off of hair videos so i'm not gonna stop doing it and i like doing hair videos and i like looking cute so it is what it is but this month I just you know like I don't know like I just want I'm, I have like this really good feeling right now starting off this month of August so I'm hoping that this feeling lasts throughout the end of the year um, I actually did reach a little personal goal but I'll share that with you guys maybe probably like in next vlog um, just because I'm finalizing a little bit of the stuff that I have to do so I'm really excited I woke up this morning I actually had like a little cry <laughs> Like, I actually was crying today, which is kind of crazy. Like, I, like, broke out in tears. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Because, like, when it comes to certain things in my life, I don't get excited about. Especially because I feel like with social media and stuff like that, it's just kind of like, you know, like, I've been doing it for so long. And, you know, like, it's just oversaturated now. So it's kind of like, ah, oh, whatever, you know. When small victories happen, I'm like, ah, oh, okay, you know. But um, I've been working on something, like, my business personal thing nothing that has to do with social media at all it's just like my personal life goals and i finally made it so i'm actually really happy like i had like a little breakdown cry today because i had um i was miscalculating something and then i went back and realized that oh bitch you was already past that so um it was nice to um see that or whatever but i'll get into that next week because i did want to have like a little celebratory dinner with my sisters or whatever but you guys will know soon or later what that is so um yeah so right now it should be 9 30 the beauty supply store opens now so i'm gonna go buy a new hot comb because i need to style all the wigs so we can officially say that the wigs are done i just have like five or six no like five wait, wait five or four that are still that are still like in the sink that are just soaking i'm gonna show you guys how i clean the glue off the wigs too by the way it's a really cool trick if you want to do something quick and get the glue stains out very fast i'll show you guys that I also have to wash my makeup brushes, so I'll show you guys how I clean the makeup brushes and the product that I use. Um, if you guys don't know, I think I mentioned this, I have an Amazon storefront, so you guys will see a lot of the stuff on my Amazon storefront. I'm working on it. It's a little bit confusing, but I'll figure it out. I don't need to pay anyone $50, $100 to teach me how to run an Amazon storefront. No one taught me how to do a YouTube channel. I just figured it out along the way and just did my best, so here I am. So... I'm working on the Amazon storefront, and yeah, so uh, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm growing a lot, which is, and mainly because of reels, fashion reels. Uh, with Instagram, you got to stick to your niche. I realized that about Instagram. It's like, um, I do hair videos and stuff like that, but popular videos for me are try on hauls and like just showing clothes because a lot of people want to see what clothes look like on certain body types, and I'm kind of like that dirt, curvy, thick, you know, little thick type. Body, you know hips and all that kind of stuff so I realized that a lot of people on Instagram like to see people in certain things that they're afraid to wear or that they don't think they're gonna look good in so I've been growing on Instagram I just got like 4,000 followers in the last two weeks so I'm almost at 120k you guys know last year I hit 100k um, the Instagram reels definitely help you grow and you get a little bit of money I realized that the higher your bonus is the harder you have to work to get to the um, bonus which is annoying I feel like they should just pay you for each of the videos based on how they perform um, but the bonus thing is a little bit kind of like they need to fix that up they, they got to kind of tweak that um, bonus thing up damn and the wig I have on, guys, is from MyFirstWigs.com, if you guys didn't know. Make sure you guys go ahead and watch that video. But um, on Instagram, I would give this advice to people on Instagram. Go with your niche and make sure that it's your target audience is going for that. So if you're someone that just strictly does hair videos, just strictly do hair reels, 
or you know whatever type of reels that you like um i'm i kind of do like vlogs and fashion my fashion reels do way better um i did like a day in my life it real did okay but it's not i guess i'm not that aesthetic i guess which i'm okay with i don't really fuck about that so my fashion videos do well and sometimes i do hair video hair reels they do well as well too one thing i did notice i started putting up cooking reels and shockingly the cooking reels did well so it's a trial and error type of situation on social media now. You kind of have to figure out what you want to do on TikTok. I have videos on TikTok that are just me talking about like main, like, like current events or whatever. Like I'm just talking about stuff like zodiac signs, and those videos get like over fucking four hundred thousand views. Like those videos on my TikTok do well as well too. But the fashion videos on my TikTok do excellent. They have probably the most view. Mm, yeah. So it's 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 a thing. Um, it's. It's very confusing. TikTok, you can literally put up, talk about like anything dumb and get a whole bunch of views and a whole bunch of followers. So I would say TikTok is for fun, but I would also put in your personal effects. So put in your reels, your fashion reels, or put in your fashion stuff on TikTok just because you want your audience to kind of follow you for those things, not just talking nonsense or showing them a box of cereal or showing them like, or talking about your life and stuff like that, which you already know I don't really like that kind of stuff because stuff that's on the internet is gonna follow you for the rest of your life so i understand people want to share their experiences on tiktok and bitch i'd be up in everybody motherfucking business on tiktok you feel me but again people are not realizing even in 2022 i remember hearing this growing up and i was born in 1990 was going to i went to high school in 2004 you know what i'm saying so like i'm like you know i'm an ld in a way not really but you always hear the phrase like watch what you put on the internet because it might follow you some something of that sort and i don't think people are realizing that now tiktok people save those videos dog so if you out there talking about people or putting out your business out there like people are evil in this world and it will come back and bite you so i just want to give that fair warning out for tiktok because tiktok is fun it's a nice platform to grow and meet other people the comments on there are very nice compared to the comments on any other fucking platform i've been on people on tiktok are very nice compared to youtube on here y'all get a little crazy on youtube and on tiktok y'all can get i mean on instagram y'all can get a little crazy on um tiktok it ain't too bad out there you get a lot of love on tiktok which i really like so um yeah i just like talked a lot for no fucking reason dog um yeah but youtube's platform is definitely very frustrating um it wasn't like this before and it's like this now. and i noticed why people are leaving and they don't come back because it's kind of like y'all want us to first of all you strike all the videos like a lot of my videos got uh, have gotten strict uh striked so um it's kind of like y'all want us to put up these long ass vlogs these long ass videos and y'all don't want to pay people and then on top of that y'all don't set notifications man listen i ain't got time for it if it goes up it goes up if it don't it don't you know I'm still gonna get my money somehow, somewhere. Because y'all already know, I make most of my money from sponsorships anyway, so it don't even matter for me. So, yeah. So, that was just like a little recap, I guess. I just talk way too fucking much. I made it back to the house. I didn't show you guys when I went to this dollar store, but I ended up going to a dollar store and getting a hot glue gun, and I got the glue. The glue's right here on the floor. Um, but I got a hot glue gun. I ended up getting a diffuser so that it's easier for me to blow dry the hair. It's a universal one as well, too. I will leave a link for this down below in the Amazon store because I always get diffusers or I get these hair nozzle, the dry nozzle. This works well when you've got a whole bunch of wigs to do. Pop this on there and quickly blow dry through the hair. Very cool. I love, love, love this one, guys. Um, they had the Hot Tools one, which was like $45, and that's not happening. So I got the Curve Comb, Medium Curve Teeth. I had no idea what the hell that meant at the store, guys. I was struggling. But I guess the Curve tube makes more sense because you'll scoop like that with the other side right i did not know that this was there like i feel so dumb like whatever but i got this one i also did get some more iso plus as you guys can see the wigs are in the sink i cleaned the sink out and everything obviously nothing's been cooked in here or no meat or anything's been you know prepared in the sink you know what i mean but anyway so i do have the wig soaked a little bit i have i did have some neutralizing shampoo but i just got some extra just if i want to do a second rinse on them um i'm gonna show you guys how i remove the glue off of it what i like to do is pre-soak the wigs first so i like i already did this but i'm just gonna like put a little bit more water on it um there's a lot of ways to get glue off the wig one good way is using dial soap 
You can use a dial soap and it'll kind of slide off because it's like oily in a way and it'll just kind of pull it off. I also use a fresh new sponge. I bought a sponge specifically for the wig. So I'll show you guys how I scrub the glue off and it comes off clean, guys. Clean AF. I did pick out this little jumpsuit, but I'm going to do a collective haul. This jumpsuit looked like a shapewear, but it was only $16.99 at Magrag. There is a Magrag near my house. So I got this one. It looks nice. Um, I am going to do a collective haul. I'm going to film the collective haul tomorrow um, because I'm not wearing makeup until I get these brushes clean, which we're going to do after. So what I'm going to do right now is um, uh, the mannequins need their eyelashes. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. But let me show you guys the mannequins because my babies ain't got no freaking lashes on. Like, look at my girls. I pulled all their lashes off because the lashes was looking a freaking hot, stiggity, iggity mess. So, um, yeah, so I have a little bit of work to do. I like to get them glam. I think I'm going to hot glue gun certain earrings in their ear, just earrings that I don't need anymore. So I'm going to hot glue gun them in their ear. I think I might, because I like to switch up. Like, she has a necklace. My girl over there don't got a necklace on, so I got to switch up their necklaces and stuff, so... Yeah, so I got to prep these, start the wigs. So I got to finish washing the wigs, let those hang dry outside because that's how I usually do them on the balcony. And then I'm going to get these prepared and then start styling wigs. Um, I will, hopefully I'll do enough by today so I can announce the wig sale tomorrow. Um, I'll probably do the wig sale Friday or Sunday, but you guys will see this vlog, most likely this week, forget it. This wig sale will be on Sunday or Saturday. I will put this vlog up on Friday. I promise to you guys this vlog will up on Friday so you guys get all the details before. So today's going to be like a long day, guys, because I have to show you. I mean, I've never showed you guys like the real, real back end of this type of stuff, especially when it comes to the website. I have to place an order for some stuff, like packaging stuff for the going out. Um, I think I have enough of my um, Rolex, Rolo tags, so I mean, um, stickers for... USPS, so I don't think I need to order any of those. So, yeah, so this is what we're doing. I'm going to prepare some breakfast, uh, but you have to watch what I eat in a week to see what I eat. And, of course, we can't forget about the iced coffee that I got. I got myself an iced coffee with two equals and one oat milk, and that is that. So I'm about to have the iced coffee. I'm going to prepare because I'm making, like, a quick breakfast. I'm doing Johnsonville turkey sausage, two scrambled eggs, and grits. I do a quarter cup. I do the measuring, everything. My classic breakfast, it fills you up for quite a, some time. And I think I'm gonna have a smoothie uh, or some type of snacks. I got peaches, I got fruits. Watch what I eat in a week, cause I'm up the ante this time. I'm, I'm really getting into it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I actually gotta take something out the freezer, so let's plan now. We could plan together, cause it's okay if we plan on here because we're still- If y'all watched the vlog, obviously you guys saw that one shopping this week. So I got the shrimp still. I got a lot of things still. Um, this, I'm gonna actually make this chicken teriyaki, <clears throat> one of these, uh, what I eat in a weeknights because and I'm gonna put it on Instagram this shit right here from Trader Joe's is off the hook guys I, I just I can't even with this one like so I'm gonna film that for one of the what I eat in a week videos and in one of the days so I have some ground turkey in here that I just covered with napkin I'm gonna have that tomorrow for Taco Tuesday and make some nachos so I'm gonna take the shrimp out I'll have some shrimp later I do have some roasted corn in here but I don't think I want Roasted corn. I don't know. I don't want to do that today. And then up here is like the basic stuff. Like I got my dairy-free ice cream, dairy-free Trader Joe's ice cream, little trays of ice, oh, some frozen bananas. And then the reason why I said I was gonna make a smoothie is because I have mangoes in here. And I also have the berries. One thing about this berry blend, I do not like the seeds. The seeds ruin the entire drink. I just can't deal with it. So I think I'm gonna have just a banana peach and maybe mango smoothie as a snack and then have like a few um, rice cakes, two rice cakes.
right guys so I'm gonna do this one with you guys so it's easier so I got myself just a sponge that I specifically use with kind of like a rough end like this and I use this mainly just for the wigs just to get the glue off so I use the ISO plus neutralizing shampoo works the best for me it cleans the hair strips of anything in there even if you finish bleaching a unit or bleaching the knots on a unit I would use that uh, shampoo just because uh, if it's still processing it it'll stop the processing so all I do is take the sponge on the hard end and I basically just take each corner piece by piece and literally the glue just kind of like slides right off now I know some like well the glue's gonna get in the hair you gotta wash the hair out anyway so once you let it air dry you guys will see clean as all right guys so I got the lashes that I'm going to use for my beauty right here so these are the lashes I'm using for her um, you guys get these when you order from hair companies it's just you know regular lashes in the pack so I'm gonna use these but I think I'm gonna cut them a little bit I do have like some residual glue on here excuse my nails that are missing I'm washing the wigs have my nails slipping and sliding baby so I'm just gonna cut like a little bit of the ends also it's not too long I'm gonna have to do this on all three of the wigs, all three of the mannequin heads. I don't do, I'm not doing any makeup or anything because they look fine. It's just that I just need to update their lashes and put some earrings on them, which we'll do her earrings next. I think I'm just gonna do studs on them. I usually like to do hoops and stuff like that, but I want to do something permanent in their ears for now. Um, so yeah, so that's how the lash will look. So all I'm gonna do is test out the hot glue gun first. And make sure the hot glue gun is giving what it's supposed to give. Yeah, it's hot. And I got it plugged in, in the wall. So I'm going to do like a small little stream of it on the lash line. Nothing. Ooh. Girl. I'm already making a fucking mess. Should have just did it on here. Dom. You know, sometimes it's just trial and error. So I'm going to put it on here. Get this freaking glue piece off of girl. Alright guys, got it. So I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna place the lashes like that. So they've already pretty much stuck the hell on here. So there you go. So that's one lash. And what I like to do is curve it up so you can't see any of the residual on it. You'll just be able to see the eye. So you see? And they stay fluffy and high like that once you put the glue on. So let's try it again because I just definitely embarrassed myself on the first try. So let's go ahead and do this again. So like I said, I'm going to cut the ends off. So I'm going to cut the ends off. That one. And I don't know if I have enough lashes from these companies, but I think I have enough. I have another another red pack. So we're gonna go with this one. There's still a few little hairs right here, so I'm just gonna pull these off. Um, and then we're just gonna line it up right here at the top over the lash line right here. And this is super tacky, guys, so it sticks on very quickly. So you're gonna go ahead and take the lash and we're going to place it right there. Y'all see that? Place it right above, hot, hot. Just like that. And like I said, I like mine to kind of lift a little bit so you can see a little bit of the eye. So arrange them so they lift. But you guys can already see, lash ain't going nowhere. So if you want to put lashes on them, just use a hot glue gun, guys. It's very simple. The hot glue gun, I got it from the beauty supply store for $5, and the glue sticks were only $1.99. And there goes your lashes on the mannequin, right, guys. So I have this pack of fun earrings from Primark. Now, I do like a few of them, which I'm not going to use for the mannequins, but I'm going to use some of the, like, the little studs at the top. It just makes a difference on the mannequin. Um, obviously, you guys know I put like necklace and stuff on them, so I like to add like little jewelry. Usually, I do hoops and stuff, but it's super annoying doing hoops because they fall out every single time I try to switch the wig. So I'm just gonna add like little earrings like this. Uh, this time around, when I style the wigs, I'm gonna make sure I style the edges and everything. All the wigs are gonna be already pre like styled, so if you just want to pop them on, you can on some of them that are glueless, and then the other ones obviously you have to wash them and stuff. But at least I'll prep it for you. Um, 
if you decide just to wear straight out the pack everything is clean and fresh so um i think this is nice to it's simple but you, the mannequins need jewelry like you the mannequins need accessories they need to look like you will look when you get ready right so so far she is looking pretty bomb so i think i'm going to go ahead and glue these in the reason why i glue these in is because they literally fall right out and there's a huge hole there now i know you guys are gonna be like well don't do that now because you won't be able to stick anything else in the hole which i probably will be guys to be honest with you so that's why i'm not too worried about and that's why i'm just like it's not a big deal i'm gonna just seal the hole with a little bit of glue and that's it so i'm gonna put like a little bit of glue at the end of the um the earring Ooh, i'm making a mess on the side screen but a little bit of glue and we'll pop her in place just to see if she stays and she should stay because I put the glue at the end of her hopefully no <laughs> so let me go ahead and pop this Ooh. all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue at the clo at the closing and then we're just gonna go ahead and close the earring up like that We'll do the same thing. The glue, look guys see all these strings of glue all over the place. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. And we're going to, let me pull this out. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue at the end of it, I guess. Either way you do it, or you can just put it in And then hit it with a little bit of the glue. And then that's it. And there you go, guys. So she got her earrings in. And she's ready to go. So this is what she looks like with her lashes, necklace. Sorry for the junk in the back. She got her lashes on, she got her earrings, her little stud earrings on, and she got her necklace, so that is mannequin number one. All right, guys, so this is what they'll look like with the lashes on. She does have this mark on her cheek. I added extra blush to them as well, too. I don't know if you guys can tell that they're very blushy. Uh, she has a mark on her cheek, uh, and... I don't know how to get this mark off her cheek off, so it is what it is. But she looks pretty. She has some regular little studs in her ear. She has her studs. These lashes are really, really nice on her. Very, very nice natural lashes. Well, you know, for her face, they look so pretty. And I add a little blush on her cheeks. And yeah, so this is the other one as well, too. She looks really gorgeous as well. Blush on her cheeks as well, guys. And yeah, so the mannequins are completed. I did not put a necklace on the middle one. I think I'm probably not going to. She has such a pretty, the middle one is so pretty. Like, she has such a pretty, pretty face. I know that's so weird for me to be, like, like blushing over these girls. But still, the middle one has a pretty face. So I'll probably just, I, what I, this is crazy, but with certain types, um, these mannequins, I find certain wigs to go for some of them. I, I know this is crazy, but some wigs look better on, like, e either or. You know what I'm saying? Like, she could pull off a bob. She can't. You know what I mean? That type of stuff. So I go based on like how they're looking and how their face looks. So yeah, so let me show you guys the pile of wigs. The wigs have been laid out here. They've been dried, washed and everything. I just have them laying on their back. Um, and I do this basically so that um, I can just pull them up and see which ones are. There are a lot of colored wigs and stuff in here as well. Browns. I have two red units. So the ones that wanted like that red unit, you guys could have that one. Some kinky straight units, middle part units, closure units. There's a whole bunch, guys. So everything here is washed. So my step now is to style. Styling, it takes about 30 minutes per wig. So I got to take increments and, and time because... The shit takes way too freaking long. But I am going to go ahead and style some of the curly ones because they're already curly. So I really don't have to do that much. I'll take pictures of the curly ones first. Alright guys, so I put uh, three wigs that were the curly wigs. This wig is basically drying. Now this wig is actually um, a wet and wavy wig. So you can actually wear this straight. So what I'm going to do is actually straighten 
a section in the back so you guys can see it or probably straighten the side but i do love how it's just like the hairline on this wig is bomb very natural i am going to put a lot of these wigs for cheaper prices i usually do them prices like you know ranging from like three to like the lowest like a hundred or like fifty dollars so i'm going to keep the prices pretty fair this time just because i know it's a recession and stuff like that and it's not really that deep a lot of these units are um you know i've had them for a while and i know a lot of the times people complain about the prices but bro you're getting the wig for like almost half or even more than half of what the company sells it for instance this one is from wild african this unit is at least like 300 dollars, 250 dollars. so i at least try to make it way less than that but i mean like look at the color a lot of these like look at the lace i had to bleach some of this tweeze it and it just looks so natural and perfect this curly one i did not want to give it up but i gave it up and look at the lace on this one like bruh bruh look at this beautiful wig so i mean you guys can pick and choose there are a lot of flavors a lot of different styles in this wig so but i am so into these are fucking fabulous So this is what the brushes look like once they are fully clean as you guys can tell nice and clean brushes um, I am just gonna toss the beauty blenders I have on just use two new ones I usually order mine from Amazon and I'll leave a link down below this brush set is from Amazon as well they're very nice sturdy brushes so I'll leave this link down below as well in my Amazon storefront so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this week's vlog there will be some content other other content this week and another vlog next week so Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.